I'm so jet lagged right now. Come on in, guys. Let's have some fun in three, two, one. And people are coming on in. The first four coming in. 62, 62, 52, 52, 75, 75, 130, 130. Come on in, guys, and welcome to what could be the most exciting night of your entire lives. This is the points partner, Jet Lagged, coming to you live from Los Angeles, California, where the players play. I'm having a vodka. I got my merch. My merch has come through. The t-shirts are in. All right. Let's get straight down to business before I lose all of your attention and you start swiping away from me because there's other content that you need. Here's the first thing you need to know. I've just done 10 days in London with my family, with my daughter, with my old friends. It was awesome. I took British Airways business class uh, for free from Los Angeles to London. And then we did premium economy on British Airways on the way back. We're going to be talking about my reviews of those, how I booked those. I'm also going to be talking about my next trips that I've got coming up and how I've booked those, all using credit card points and air miles. In particular, next month, I'm going to Japan for Valentine's Day with my girlfriend, Business Class United on the way there, Japan Air, Business Class on the way back. In April, I'm going to be going to Mexico and talking about that. I'm going to be going next summer into Morocco, uh, Italy, and England. We're going to be talking about that as well. Come on in, guys, and welcome. Uh, Paul Rothman says, mentioned you, trickery. Yes, I always do the mentioned you. By the way, it's like no one cares about anyone else. Everyone cares about themselves. So when I do it live and I call it mentioned you, it comes up at the top of your screen. It says, the points partner mentioned you. You're like, oh, oh, he mentioned me. And you'll come running on in and you're like, oh, he pulled my leg again. But then I got you. I, I, it's, a, it's a fishing rod. I fish you in. With interesting news. You notice I haven't shaved and I'm very grey. I don't care. Whatever. Who cares? All right. Uh, we're going to start. Good morning. Good afternoon. Or indeed, good evening to you all. Uh, we're going to have some fun here. Mm. All right. We're going to start off with uh, how did I book the... Uh, England trip that I was just on. I should mention, by the way, I'm so horrifically jet lagged. It's amazing that I have an online course that includes things like how do you deal with jet lag, and I'm horrific. Look at my eyes. I'm like dying over here. All right, let's talk about. Um, so I'm going to start off with um, how I book the trip. So when you fly from America to England, uh, England has the worst, or used to have the worst taxes in the world. Thank you, Global Gangster, by the way. I appreciate you. Um, has the, some of the worst taxes for mileage tickets in the world. So how do you deal with that? You have two options. You can either fly direct and suck it up and pay the big taxes, or you can go via a European hub, anything from um, Paris, Amsterdam, Munich, Frankfurt, Zurich, Istanbul. It really doesn't make a difference, and you can avoid those taxes. Now, I was traveling with my 10-year-old daughter. I don't want to be dealing with bouncing around hubs. Um, respectfully, I am the points partner. I'm going straight to London. So I wanted to fly on either British Airways or Virgin Atlantic. At the time of me booking these tickets, which was about seven months ago, um, there was a transfer bonus on from American Express into British Airways for 30% or 40%, I think it was. I can't remember. 30 to 40%. So uh, I managed to find 60,000 point business class, six foot lay flat beds from Los Angeles to London for 60,000 points each, but I got a 30% discount on that by transferring them during that transfer bonus, which means that the net result was it cost me about 40,000 points each uh, for uh, for doing those flights. Uh, Jeffrey says, why are you creating a big carbon footprint with your travel plans? I'm not creating a big carbon footprint, uh, I'm traveling. In fact, there's a great argument that I'm actually doing the opposite. Um, for the most part, mileage tickets are seats that they don't think they're going to sell. So those planes are already taking off. And by me not going on them, they wouldn't not fly them. So Jeffrey, you're backwards. And also when it comes to my personal carbon footprint, I can't speak for you, Jeffrey, but I have solar panels on my roof and I drive an electric car. So don't start trouble with me tonight. All right. Um, let's go. Oh, uh, we've got your comments are coming in. I'm trying to talk to you. Uh, you've got you've mentioned balance transfers to cards with points versus a 
sponsored card from an airline still the best option? So the short answer is yes. It does depend on who you are. Um, I talk predominantly, I'm one of the few people in the industry uh, that feels very strongly that the average person on this live shouldn't have co-branded credit cards, ones that are collecting air miles versus credit card points. And the reason behind that is that the average person spends uh, between a thousand to three thousand dollars a month on their credit card. If you were to put that spend on a co-branded credit card, you just wouldn't get out of it what you think you would. You'd be much better off mathematically with uh, traditional credit card points and transferring them and being able to fly on the airline that's going to give you the best deal every single time. Now, there are a small percentage of people that's not the case, but for the most part, that is the case. Uh, where do you hear about transfer bonuses? Make sure you're on my mailing list. I email out about them and I mention them on my stories. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Great, you're doing this. Thank you. Uh, New York to San... Okay, guys, slow down. Slow down with the questions. Let me just finish uh, my thoughts. And then I'm going ju- to jump in and answer all these questions. It over- I'm only going to be around for about 25 minutes, but I am going to do it. Okay, that was the way there. The way back, um, I got a lot of DMs. I get a lot of smack from people like, oh, you, you only ever fly on beds on planes. Well, my job is teaching other people how to fly on beds on planes for free. But there are people that don't have as much credit card spend. There are people that are moving three, four, five kids around. And realistically, they need to fly in coach or premium economy. So I try and mix up. Whenever I do domestic stuff in America, I fly in coach and show you guys the best way to do that. And when I go into national, if it's a night flight, I'm taking a bed. And if it's a day flight, I do try and do premium economy. So I booked premium economy day flight for the way back on British Airways. Now, those flights were 27,000 points, but again, got the 30% off, ended up being around 18, 19,000 points each plus taxes. Um, And I've got to be honest, I thought that the, the business class on British Airways going there was one of the worst business class experiences of my life. Was it still a six foot lay flat bed with yummy steaks and champagne? Yes, it was all, don't get me wrong, it's still awesome. But in relation to other business class travel, hated it, hated it. Now, the way coming back, which was premium economy, one of the best premium economy flights in my life. Brand new A380, for those of you who don't know, that's the double decker plane. It's enormous, you don't even feel takeoff, it's dead quiet, huge plane, brand new, new screens, food was great, big fan of it. All right. Let's take some uh, some questions before you start screaming and shouting at me, uh, which you love doing. All right, let's see what we got here. Uh, Thank you, Platinum Card. Uh, okay. Uh, Hebo Saliaman says, if I don't want an accurate uh, uh, to accrue debt, uh, if I don't want to accrue debt and I want to just have a credit card that's helpful, is the big blue banks uh, preferred a good idea? No. I mean, it's not a terrible idea, but that's not going to get you um, the the amount of points that you need for a lot of free travel. It's not a bad starting point. I'm not saying it's a bad credit card, but that really competes with two other credit cards that, quite frankly, offer you more points. It competes with the Citibank Premier card, which gets you three times points on all of your food, drink. I'll show you. Food, drink, gas, travel. Um, it gives you three times points. Um, and they just moved the sign up bonus back down to 60, which is not ideal. It's not great timing for you. Uh, but that, that is probably, in my opinion, your joint first best new credit card to get on my website. The other one, uh, which I talk about a lot because it really is mathematically going to serve you the best is, uh, the Amex Rose Gold card. This is absolutely hands down. Anyone who is American or lives in America and eats at all needs this credit card. Four times points on all your food and drink. It is hands down the most popular credit card on my website, has been for the last four years. Now, there are other, tons of great credit cards. I've got 52 of them right here. We can go through each and every one of them if you want, and I can talk to you about them. But fundamentally, if you want to travel for free, if you're watching me, you're looking at my stories, if you're watching me on TV, if you're watching in my courses, this is absolute must for everyone because if you're alive you're eating and if you're eating you'd rather get four times points on it than you would three two or one Uh, and on that basis uh it is the foundation of where you're going to get the most of your points on a day-to-day basis Mm. okay uh henry says points partner should do a live class so i do i mean so here's the thing 
Uh, I, I don't do these lives to sell all my products and services, but if you're going to ask, I'm going to tell you. So I, I have an online course, which is called the Fly Free Academy, um, which you, you're welcome to go watch. It's about five and a half, six hours long. It has a full money back guarantee. So if you watch it and it isn't amazing and you don't suddenly learn how to fly for free for it, you can have your money back. If you're going to purchase it tonight, use the discount code IGLIVE. And you can interact with me in the course. That's really what I do all day long is people who ask questions under each video, I'm answering them in real time. So that's, that's one way of doing it. Two, if you've got your own private community in whatever industry you're in, whether you're in real estate or fishing or whatever it is that you do, if you've got a group of people, hit me up in the DMs. I'll do a deal with you where I'll come and speak to those people. And as long as they're purchasing my course or joining something or whatever, we'll, we'll make it work for you. So I do do a lot of uh, live stuff. Also, I do a lot of one-on-one -on -one stuff. If you're a business owner, if you're spending more than five, ten thousand dollars a month on your credit card, I will do a private Zoom call with you because, the, quite frankly, the amount of free travel that you could unlock is worth paying me a couple of grand to learn how to do it one-on-one. -on -one. All right, uh, Maribel says, "Have you tried BA's new first-class suites?" I actually haven't. Um, I tried the old ones, and they were good. I'm not a big fan of first class in general. I know it sounds crazy, but there's really very few airlines that are still offering a true first class. Most of them are business class now. Now, BA is one of them. BA, uh, Singapore Air, Air France, there's still a handful of places that are still offering a true first class experience. Here's the, the catch. When you book first class using mileage, some airlines won't let you. You need to have status in the case of Air France. And for the ones that do let you like British Airways, the cost of it is sometimes almost twice what business class is. It's just not worth it. I'd rather fly in business class, still a six foot, lay flat bed. I don't need to waste twice the amount of miles. Okay, scrolling down, what else have we got? Uh, Kriya says, is it worth it to sign up with AE? Uh, AE could mean American Express. AE could mean authorized uh, executive, I don't know with signing up with American Express? Yeah, if that's what you're asking, 100%. Guys, when you're applying for credit cards, go to my website, thepointspartner.com, and any application that you do, you get me. So if you get stuck, or you don't get approved, or there's an issue, I, that's what all this gray hair is from, is helping all of you every day. So when you're applying for credit cards, just make sure you're doing it on my website, and I can assist with it. Gumbo264 says, do I need both Amex Platinum Card and Amex Rose Gold? Well, the short answer is yes. They do two different things, right? So we're talking about, I get this a lot. There seems to be a lot of confusion with the Amex cards, understanding the difference. I've lost it. By the way, as I'm talking to you, I've lost the credit card. Where did I just, I've lost my Rose Gold card. Where did I put it? There it is. All right. So I'm going to talk you through these two cards real quick. And they're very, very, very different. So, okay. So here is the, my business platinum card and the Amex Rose Gold card. So let me explain to you the difference between the two. This has a $250 annual fee. This has a $695 annual fee. This one comes with a 60, 000, 60 to 90,000 point sign up bonus. When you fill it out on my website, it jumps to what you're eligible for. This comes with, I think, 120,000 point sign up bonus right now. This one, you have to spend $4,000 within six months. This one, you have to spend $15,000 within three months. This gives you uh, $240 back every year in credits for Grubhub, Uber, Uber Eats, um, and a bunch of other places. This gives you $400 uh, credit on, well, this comes with a million things, uh, everything under the sun, lounge access, uh, 24 hours a day concierge. Now, from a points perspective, right, that's really the question here. Gumbo is asking, do I need both of these cards? Well, they do two different things. If you're buying food and drink, this gives you four times points on all of your food and drink. This gives you one. So from a points perspective, there's no question you need the Amex Rose Gold card for food and drink. If you're going to airports, you need lounge access, then you're going to need your platinum card. Now, most people, right, either aren't traveling a lot and they just have the Rose Gold card to get the points so they can travel, or you're a business executive, you need a concierge, you need lounge access, you need some of the other stuff that, that the, the platinum card comes with, and you have both. With Amex cards, people always assume that you're supposed to have one. 
you're not. Amex has designed it that they, you should have two, three, four. I think I have 12. Uh, I'm not suggesting that you will need 12, but it depends on your lifestyle. Yes is the short answer to that question. All right. Which cards would you recommend for Canadian? Uh, stick with American Express Canada version. And in particular, check out the Cobalt card on the .ca website, which is exclusive to Canada and isn't available anywhere else in the world. Kosher Trader Joe says, if you have a corporate Amex green, you get $100 off the annual fee for the Rose Gold card. That is correct. Uh, Gumbo, what's the best way to track all your cards? In my course, there's actually several videos on tracking your points and your credit cards. There's multiple apps, multiple websites, uh, and I've even give discount codes to all of them in my course. Uh, so check it out. Uh, should I, so should I close the Sapphire, uh, ABC, get City and Amex? No, do not close any credit cards. Guys, do not close any credit cards. When you close a credit card, it knocks your credit score. You don't want that. You can downgrade it. And my recommendation is go on my website, get the new card that you've heard me talk about that you want. And then after that's arrived and you've activated it, downgrade the one that you're not using uh, as much. And again, there's videos on all of these topics in my course that explains in obviously a lot more detail what to do, when to do it, and all that good stuff. Happy881 says, is it difficult to upgrade when you book through a tour company? It's impossible to do that. Um, and I wouldn't recommend upgrading with or without a tour company. Upgrading is not something that is mathematically in your favor at any juncture, okay? When my, my, my methodology is all about booking from scratch what you want. And right now you're thinking, but I can't afford business class. That's because you don't know what you're doing. Watch my course, get the right credit cards for your lifestyle, learn how to use the points so they're worth seven times the amount, and then you can fly around in business class all year round like I do. People always assume that just because I run a successful business that I spend millions of dollars on my credit card. I don't. On an average month, I spend somewhere between two and $10,000 on my credit card. It's not crazy. I'm not like some billionaire. Okay, I live a normal life. I spend roughly normal money, um, and I just make the best use of my points, um, and, and that's why I can do as much traveling as I do. Ig Corn says you have fifty-two credit cards. You must mostly uh, you must use mostly a few of them to get all the points, or do they all go to the same place? So it's, yeah, it's a good point. So I do have fifty-two credit cards, and I'll be honest with you: on an average week, I probably use five. Um, it's very, you know, I'm not, a lot of these credit cards that I have are for specific use. So if I'm going to Disneyland, if I'm going to an office supply store, if I am paying taxes, like all of these credit cards have a use for me. But on a day to day basis, I'm really using the same three or four cards. And in particular, the American Express Rose Gold card gets swiped more than any other credit card that I get because I'm eating and drinking. It's grocery stores, supermarkets, cafes, bars, coffee houses, restaurants, food delivery, delicatessens. It's all food and drink. Outside of that, what's getting a lot of action these days is my Venture X card. My Capital One Venture X gives me two times points on all the other spend. So those two kind of represent easily 70, 80% of all the swiping that I do. All right, what's the best card if you live in the UK? Um, I have the BA Amex. So there's nothing wrong with the BA Amex, but you'd be much better off with just a straight uh, Amex card. And the reason for that is that you can still transfer your points to British uh, Airlines if you want to, but if you don't, you can also transfer them to Virgin Atlantic, Air France, and a bunch of other places. So you're just better off with uh, a true Amex versus the British Airways one. Uh, official J says, I appreciate your flying points, Gems. Thank you, sir. I appreciate you. Um, ba -ba -ba, I'm scrolling down. Philip says, what can 2 million points get you? Pretty much anything you want. Here's the easiest way to understand it. If you know what you're doing, if you're, if you're someone who's watched my course or been in any of my long form classes, you'll know that 100,000 points will get you $7,000 worth of business class travel. So you do the math there, it's not rocket science. You're talking about literally any travel that you wanna do, uh, but you've got to learn how to use those points, Philip. Uh, and for people like Philip, who've got a couple of million points, right? That's a lot of points. The average person listening doesn't have that. But for those people that do have that, you can bypass a lot of this conversation. 
you know, the, these conversations are about trying to get points, how to use them efficiently. You've got a couple of million points. You don't need all that. You can just go straight on my website and say, send me and my wife, me and my boyfriend, me and the kids anywhere in the world. I will find you and book you those tickets. So you can bypass a lot of this conversation if, you, if your business, clearly that's business plan, if your business uh, produces enough of those points. Uh, I got Sapphire through your site. Does it hurt my credit score to close it? Yes, we just discussed that. Don't close it, downgrade it once you've got your new card. Uh, it doesn't cost you anything and it won't knock your credit. Pla uh, Amex Platinum isn't meant to be used. Well, it's not that it isn't meant to be used. It's that you have to use it for the right thing. So what is Amex Platinum useful for to spend on? Here are the things that you want to spend on your Amex Platinum. Anything to do with travel, yes. Anything that needs purchase protection. So if you're buying a product that, that could get lost, stolen, or broken, in other words, laptop, jewelry, washing machines, artwork, anything big, Amex Platinum, yes. Uh, and the third type of thing is any transaction over $5,000, you're always going to be better off putting on a Platinum card than you would be uh, any other card that you've got. Maybe not from a points perspective, uh, they do give you one point, they give you 50% extra points on transactions over $5,000, but that's not the reason for it. The reason for it is just the purchase protection and like it's, a, it's designed for bigger types of spend like that. Do you think the city prestige will make a comeback? Ah, it's a great question. No, it won't, uh, but that is being replaced with a new premium credit card from Citibank that is due to come out hopefully in the next couple of months. And I got some insider information that that is the case. Mm, does food and drink include groceries? Yes, it does, sir. Yes, it does. Lisa says, I have your course. Uh, if I ask a question in the course about how long does it take for you to get around to answering a question? So it depends on the time of day. Um, I would say on average, 98% of the questions or comments that people make within the course, I answer within five minutes. Um, if it happens to be while I'm asleep, then potentially uh, it could be a little bit longer. But I, like that's my priority. My priority is people that are in my course and in my inner circle. My inner circle is after you finish the course, if you want to do next level, like the gangster shiznit, um, we do two Zoom calls a month. We have a private Facebook group where people ask questions and we do all sorts of stuff. In fact, I have an inner circle tomorrow night. Um, so that's my priority. Everything else, if you're just in my DMs, you send me emails, like you are in relative terms, low priority to questions in my course or uh, my inner circle members. Okay. Uh, Owen, I'm planning to open a big blue bank ink card, but I don't have a sapphire to transfer the points. Can I still use the ink to transfer to Hyatt? The short answer is no, you can't. But my recommendation, uh, recommendation to you, Botagos underscore NP, is go on my website, get the ink card that you want, because the deal is ridiculous right now. It's a free credit card that gives you 90,000 points. Get it immediately. You don't need to necessarily transfer the points straight away. You can hold on to those points, and perhaps in next month, next quarter, next year, you can then get yourself a Sapphire product, which will allow you to move those points out. What card is best for paying taxes? Emma F. Walsh says. Well, best card for paying taxes. Let's talk about this, right? Taxes is what's called non-bonus category spend. First of all, I'm sorry, I have to mention, by the way, my merch store is live on my website. Go buy something, use the discount code fly free. Gets you, I think, 10, 15% off. And, the, and I was really surprised because I didn't order any of the merch. I didn't like get a, a ton of it. I just ordered the stuff that they make it bespoke. Very comfortable. I'm sleeping in this stuff at the moment. And I'm not just saying that. Obviously not the mugs. I'm not sleeping in mugs or the bags. But the t-shirts and the long, the, in particular, the baseball t-shirts, very comfortable. Okay, uh, what was the question? Paying taxes. Taxes is non-bonus category spend. So you can only expect, in the best case scenario, to get two points for every dollar that you spend, right? There are only three credit cards that will allow you to do that, and only two of them are relevant, and I'll explain to you why. You've got the American Express Business Blue Plus. Let me go to my handy wallet. American Express Business Blue Plus. This is a free credit card on my website, will not cost you anything. Gives you two times points for anywhere that you spend anything for every dollar. 
up to $50,000. So if you're somebody who earns lots of money and you have a big tax bill to pay, this is only going to help you up to $50,000. It's a business credit card, which means it doesn't report your utilization, the percentage of your available credit back to the credit bureaus. This is really good. It means you're protecting your personal credit by using that business credit card. The second credit card, which will give you two times points, is the, we're making a hot mess of my wallet here, is the Capital One Venture X. Now, the upside of the Capital One Venture X is it's unlimited two times points on every dollar you spend. That's the good news. The bad news is it's a personal credit card. So if you're gonna put 10, 20, 30, 40 thousand dollars on that card, it's gonna affect your credit score in a negative fashion. Not forever, but for a couple of months. So it's not ideal. And the third credit card that will give you two times points is the Citibank double cashback card. Even though it's called cashback, they give it to you in points. You just can't transfer those points out of the credit card company unless you also have the Citibank Premier card, which looks a little something like this. So in answer to your question, the best credit cards to use is the Capital One Venture X, the City Double Cashback card, which I don't have here, but that's you're going to also need that to unlock the transfer bonuses uh, or partners and the American Express Business Blue Plus. I don't know if you can tell how jet lagged I am, but like my eyes are red and I'm stuttering. I'm like desperately trying to stay awake. Okay, let's move on. How do you pay your taxes using credit cards? I'm a business owner as well, please help. I just answered that question, so that worked out well. Uh, what's the best credit card to use for paying taxes? Again, just answered it, doing great here. Uh, T Totoro, how do you pronounce that? Is it true, whatever you spend, do you have to pay it all at the end of the month or can you carry over the balance? Okay. Any credit card will allow you to not pay your entire uh, balance at the end of the month and you can pay interest. Now, depending on whether you have a credit card or you have a charge card, depends on how much interest you're going to pay and what the implication is. If you have a credit card, it is designed for you to hold a balance and pay interest. Please don't do that. Please pay all your credit card bills in full and don't pay interest. Otherwise, it negates the whole idea of earning points for free travel if you're then going to give them the money back in interest. A charge card is designed to be paid in full every month. And if you don't, the interest rates are even crazier. That's the downside. The upside is that they will give you more points. So most of the credit cards that we've spoken about tonight are actually charge cards not credit cards now from a credit perspective it doesn't make that much difference but here's the subtle difference is charge cards are designed for you to pay in full they give you extra points credit cards are not designed for you to pay in full and they don't give you as many benefits that's the general rule of thumb of understanding the difference between the two very good all right i'm scrolling down to see who else we got in the house uh, excellent i spent three thousand dollars on groceries per week if you're spending $3,000 on groceries per week, that's 12,000 points a week. That's uh, four, 5,000. Uh, my brain's just not working. 50,000 points a month. Oh, 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 that sounds fabulous. I love that. Uh, I see Nicole's in the house. I realize that Amex isn't giving me four times points at certain delis I always go to. Would they honor the points if I called with the total? Uh, the happiest person on IG. All right, Nicole, the short answer is no. You can find them up and bitch, but fundamentally when merchants or restaurants sign up for uh, receiving or, or being a terminal for American Express, they have to clarify what type of business they are. There's no reason for them to lie. So 99% of them or 90% of them, whatever it is, uh, say I'm a restaurant, I'm a grocery store, whatever it is that they are, some of them get it wrong or some of them start a business and it ends up being something else. So perhaps they were selling t-shirts and then they started selling coffee and then they started selling drinks and then they stopped selling t-shirts and they're still classified as a different type of business than what they are. But phone up Amex, give them a moan, you know me, give them a moan, see what, see what you can do. But there's no reason that they should, uh, should have to change that for you. Uh, Rasma360 says, hello, is it better to use the American Express points to buy a ticket? Well, uh, the short answer is no. So w there are two different ways that you can book your free travel using points. One is you can go into the travel 
portals of the credit card companies like American Express, and they will charge you 100 times the cost of said ticket, but in points, right? So if you're buying a $1,000 airfare, they're gonna charge you 100,000 points. The second way is you can transfer those points out of, in this case, American Express and into frequent flyer programs of airlines, American Airlines, Delta, United, so on and so forth, and they become air miles and you can book mileage tickets. If this is done correctly, you can give yourself seven times the amount of free travel. And that's really what I specialize in, right? Get the credit card side is easy. I can tell you, get this credit card two times points, four times points. It's relatively easy. Teaching you how to use those points, that requires a six-hour course, uh, which is edited and created or curated for you in order to help you get 20 years worth of knowledge and gray hair put into like a package that you can understand. What do you think about the Quicksilver with Capital One? I hate it. Don't apply for that credit card, please. It's a terrible credit card. If you do want a, uh, in particular, a Capital One card, the Venture and the Venture X are much, much better than the Quicksilver. Should I use my Amex Platinum or Gold to book travel? Sorry if you've already answered this. I have not answered this yet tonight. Sock underscore Yoda, so I shall do it now. Platinum, if it's a personal Platinum card, use the personal Platinum. If it's a business Platinum, you're actually better off using the Gold card. Uh, so you get five times points on the on the platinum card if it's a personal one. Nicole says, in the United States, sorry, not Mexico, I was looking at the points list and they only gave one times points. Already answered that. We're good. Patrick says, I got an offer for the Amex Rose Gold card. Is it worth it? So here's the thing. The, the, the short answer is, where are you getting the credit card versus how many points are they going to give you? If it's, a pre, if it's anything that comes in the mail that says you're pre-approved, throw it out. It's predatory. They're either not trusted links or there's what's called lifetime language where they screw you over. The safest and easiest way to apply for credit cards at the risk of sounding incredibly salesy is go to my website. There is no disadvantage to you. There is only advantage, which is I'm, I'm trusted. I, they, they, these are trusted links and you get me. If you go to American Express's site itself, in this case, there's nothing wrong with that. But if you don't get approved or there's an issue, you're going to wait on hold for four hours. If you apply through something that comes in the mail, you could get very, very badly screwed and burnt. So the advantage is go on my website. You're still going to get the points. It's trusted and I can help you. So if you want the Rose Cold card, go on my website. Yes, I get a kickback. They send me a couple of bucks. It doesn't cost you anything. And it means that I can help you as well. So it's kind of like a double win whammy woo-ha. Uh, my mom and dad uh, fight and I'm just feeling so lost. Nalish972, I'm sorry that your mom and dad are always fighting and you feel so lost. I hope you feel at home here on my live. We love you, we care for you, and we're here to support you. Uh, wouldn't it be better to get the Chase Inc. business cards that give you a 90,000 points rather than a Venture X or other options? Uh, that is what I plan on doing. I'm not sure what that was in reference to, uh, but if it's for taxes, absolutely. Um, if your taxes come to less than $50,000, absolutely. If it was, if it was so, to do with something else, I have no idea. Um, ba -da -ba -ba. My comment was about paying for taxes. Sorry, to, oh, to, to, to clarify on that. So I was talking about points per dollar. If you're talking about sign-up bonuses, if you want to get a new credit card just for taxes, there is no question. Uh, the, the, the ink card from the big blue bank that rhymes with face and begins with C in, um, unlimited, not the cash card, the unlimited one, because then you're getting 1.5 points, plus you're getting the 90,000 points as a sign-up bonus. Clon Byrne says, which is your favorite credit card to charge cash airline tickets to when buying direct from an airline? Thanks, love your content and your lives. Thank you so much, Clon Byrne, appreciate you. Um, so if you're buying tickets direct with an airline, your best bet is gonna be the personal platinum card, or the uh, Sapphire Reserve, or the Capital One Venture X. All three of those are equal. But you really shouldn't be paying money directly to airlines. Like, you should be uh, using points and not paying at all. Joseph says, I got the Amex Gold Card in November and paid the membership fee. I don't want to have to pay it again this November. 
in my case, when would you ask for a retention offer? Um, I would say uh, a couple of months beforehand. So uh, maybe do it at the end of the summer, give them a call uh, and tell them you're not getting the value out of the card and see if you can get a retention offer. Good question. Solid answer. Uh, points for paradise. Any way for Germans to apply for American credit cards? Not unless you've got a social security number or you have an existing relationship with American Express in Germany that we can transfer under the business side to the US. It's a bit complicated. If you want to do that stuff, DM me and we'll, we'll talk about how to do that. Uh, Kathy says, how do you find out when there are transfer bonuses? Do you need to check the sites? So yeah, I mean, if theoretically you could log into any of your credit card companies, go to transfer uh, partners and it will show you if there's any deals on or just follow me, make sure you're on my lists. Uh, I send out most of the stuff, you know, uh, to people on my, uh, my stuff. I got that Amex Rose Gold card on your website. I got it in 10 minutes. Good stuff, Susan. Uh, good stuff. All right, let's see what else we got. I'm going to do another five minutes, guys, and then we're wrapping. Amex should create a build your own card where you can choose uh, which benefits work better for you. Gets my vote. That sounds amazing. Great idea. Uh, was the best card to purchase fuel and diesel? Ooh, we're going to have some fun here. Mm. Two credit cards that you need if you're buying a lot of fuel. Now, there's two types of fuel, not um, gas or diesel. There is business spend and there is personal spend. If you have a business, you want the American Express Business Gold Card. American Express Business Gold Card. Not to be confused with the personal Rose Gold Card. This is the Business Gold Card, and it gets you a whopping four times points on all of your gas, up to a quarter of a million dollars or one million points per year. If you're not doing it for business, you're doing it for personal City Premier Card, three times points on all of your gas unlimited. And there is your answer for gas. Uh, Mr. Be Your Own Business says, what's the blue card name again? The American Express Business Blue Plus. American Express Business Blue Plus. When you go on my website, thepointspartner.com, click on credit cards. Just watch out because there's another one that looks identical to it which is called the Business Blue Cash Card, which you don't want. You want the Business Blue Plus. So make sure you see the Business Plus part on it when you're looking for it. Free credit card, two times points and everything. Andre says, I got an offer in the mail for Amex Gold, 90,000 points. Uh, should I still use your sign up? Yes, uh, because the stuff that you got in the mail is a predatory offer that has lifetime language that is going to screw you over, stop you getting other sign up bonuses. You're signing your soul to the devil with that deal. Go on my website. My gut is that if you were offered 90 in the mail, you'll get the 90 when you fill out. Before you submit it, it will change how much you can get. Uh, on my site to 90. Adrian says, if I just applied for the City Premier card, but I also got targeted offer for the Amex Platinum, should I apply for it even though I got the City this week? Well, if you've got good credit, Adrian, there's nothing wrong with applying for an American Express card after a City card in that order. So theoretically, you could apply for it. But again, if you've got it in the mail, my recommendation is do not apply for anything that comes in the mail. When you get the stuff in the mail, it's not even coming, in this case, from American Express. It's coming from a third-party marketing company uh, that puts all sorts of horrific terms and conditions in there. It's honestly, like, I really, really would not recommend it. Go on my website. For the sake of 5,000 points or the difference or whatever it is, let me look after you and hold your hand and make sure that you don't get screwed over ridiculously. Okay. Owen, oh, I travel with Delta a lot with my wife. Which card should I get? So this is, I get this, asked this question a lot, which is like, I fly with Delta a lot. Should I get the Delta card? I fly with American a lot. Should I get the American card? Same with JetBlue, same with United, same with Southwest, Hawaiian, all of these guys. Um, it does depend on how much you're traveling with them, right? So if you're, if you live at an airport, uh, that is a hub for one of those and you're, you know, you're going to be flying every time. There's probably some mild advantages to having that co-branded credit card. But as a general rule of thumb, like I fly Delta a ton. Like my girlfriend lives in New York. I go to New York at least 
once or twice a month round trip. And I only fly Delta or JetBlue. I do not have a Delta or JetBlue credit card. Why? Because all of the credit cards that I've shown you tonight, I can move those points into Delta or JetBlue if they're the best deal for me to fly with them that day. I get lounge access with Delta and all these other airlines through my credit card companies. You don't need Delta credit cards to have a good experience on Delta. So it does depend on how much you're traveling. It does depend where you are. There's a lot of depend, depend, depends. So my, my advice to you is hit me up in the DMs. We'll have a chat. Or book a 15 minute Zoom call with me and we'll, we'll work it out for you. We're going to do three more questions, guys, then we're shutting it down. Uh, best way to redeem big blue bank points, um, uh, transferring them to airlines and booking sale price international business class tickets is the best value that you're going to get for your points. And you could get as much as seven or eight cents for each one of them. For hotels, Hyatt is going to get you much better value than all the other hotel groups. What's the best card to use for Tesla charging? That is technically non-bonus category spend. So it's gonna be the American Express Business Blue Plus, it's gonna be the Citibank Double Cash, and it's gonna be the Capital One Venture X. Any one of those three is gonna be best for you. So is gold better than platinum? No, they're not better. It's better for points if you're on your food and drink. Uh, for benefits, the platinum card is better than the gold card. It's what, what are you doing? Okay. Uh, Adam says, who's in my inner circle. Uh, hello from 34,000 feet. By the way, notice I said he's in my inner circle. The guy's on a plane for free right now. So please note that. Uh, hello from 34,000 feet in extra room on JetBlue service on way to Vegas. See you later in the week for sure, Adam. Um, all right, guys, I'm going to wrap up. Here's what you need to know. Uh, if you haven't already watched my fly free academy, Tonight is the night that you should do it. You can use the discount code IGLIVE. Uh, let me pop this up for you. Um, and that will get you a 15% discount. It's about five and a half hours, my course. It has a full money back guarantee. If for any reason uh, you don't love it, you can have your money back. Thousands of people have watched it over the last 18 months. Loved it. And afterwards have then come to join the inner circle. That discount code for those people that have watched the Fly Free Academy that haven't joined the inner circle, we have a meeting tomorrow night. And once you join, you can watch the entire library of every meeting we've ever had, every guest I've had on, every gem that I've dropped and every conversation that we've had. And you can use that discount code IG Live for it as well. Uh, outside of that, uh, if you're not already following me, follow me and see me and link me and DM me. If you need help booking flights, let me know. I will take care of you. There's links for that on my website as well. If you just want to have a chat, if you just want to uh, chat for 15 minutes and ask me a bunch of questions to do with your spend, your credit, your family, your travel plans, uh, do that. It's like a, I think it's like, I don't know what it is. I think it's like a hundred bucks or something. And you can chat with me on Zoom for 15 minutes and I'll answer all of your personal questions. With that, I love you, I leave you, and I shall see you all at the next airport.